little bit things are the key to success for me. That's, that's what's made it. Um, I've kind of talked to, to Zach about this for a while, and, and uh, he, he's been listening some, I think. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's the case or if I even influenced him a bit. But these are going to be some great baits. So looking forward to it, guys. Uh, first off, thanks, Lazy Jays, for having us uh, coming here and showcasing our unveiling our new bait, uh, the Snacky Lures. I tell you, this is the second time I've seen it. First time, the first time I've seen it in the water. And, um, my wife and I, we we turn them to fish together, and nine times out of ten, when I'm struggling, she'll say, "Richard, they're right over there." I was like, "Hush." <laughs> I don't want to hear that. She said, well, I'm just telling you, uh, I'm going to think like a fish thinks. I'm going to be up there over there. Well, there's a few times that I broke down and went over there and there was the fish. Uh, and looking at these baits, I'm thinking like a fish and it's kind of making me hungry. I mean, there's no way in the world that any fish that would, not, would not keep that. There's no way. Uh, these tiny baits, guys, these are, we built these baits, I got a, we got a two, two inch bait, uh, inch and a half bait, two and a half inch bait, inch, inch and a half bait. I used the two and a half in the winter time when uh, the fish were suspended. I really, I, I like the, the larger bait when the when, when I'm shooting, going for one crop. Can I catch that same fish on this right here? Absolutely. He's going gonna, he's gonna to knock the fire out of it. The reason why I like the bigger bait is because I got the bigger hook. I like the bigger hook. Uh, these baits here, to, and, and we made those two and a half for the winter time, and these smaller ones for the summertime. And, and even right now, when the fish are still on brush piles, they're uh, a lot more finicky. Uh, where you, you, most people think you have to go buy a mina. I put I put these up up right next to a mina. Uh, and they'll perform the same or even better uh, as a mount. Most people won't believe that, uh, but I'm on the water every day looking at livestock, looking at these crappie, seeing these crappies reaction, how they move, how they act, how they act around other fish, uh, and the, how they act with bait presentation, whether you're throwing it by them, bringing it back across the top of the brush pile, or one of them's head, or uh, the, the size, one thing that uh, that I've found is if you got this bait in your boat, and if you got the two and a half inch bait in your boat, uh, you're going to catch fish. If you got those two baits in your boat, uh, a small bait, a large bait, you're going to catch you're going to catch fish. Uh, reason why I come up with a design on these is. I wanted vibration and action. Okay, so vibration, we got these ribs here, and then the action would be the tail. If you got both of those in, in a bait, you're, you're going to catch fish. If you, if you put that bait in front of that fish, he's going to, nine times out of ten, they're going to eat. Uh, now, if you have live scope and you see that that fish doesn't eat, I don't care what you drop down there. If, and we're talking about a suspended fish. That fish, I've tried it and tried it and tried it. I've stuck a minnow on top of the head, chased them down, put a small hair jig on top of the head. Done a lot of things, and that, that fish is not going to bite. Uh, I've showed customers of mine, you know, over and over and over. They say, well, we won't give up on it. we, we got to catch that one, because that's a big one. Well, okay, we'll, we'll try it again. We'll, we'll switch bait, we'll switch color, we'll switch anything in the world, drop down on that fish, and that fish, would not buy uh, any customer of mine can attest to that. They'll, they'll tell you if that fish turns up and looks at it and swims away, just leave him alone, go find you another one. Uh, and we're talking about profit here. Another thing I've recently started doing, uh, and this has been within the past two weeks, is I'm, I'm starting to live scope bass. Okay? And this is what I use on my, I use an A-Rig. Uh, this time of year, and I use these baits on my a uh, They're durable, and they catch, they catch bass. Uh, about 16 and a half pounds on Hudson's day for yesterday, uh, 16 on Grand 
they afford us not a not a heavy weight uh, for some of these bass pros, but that's that's some good weight for me because I just started bass fishing. I hate I, I hated bass fishing. I ain't no way you'd catch me with a bass rod in my hand before last year. But now that I can see them and I know I'm throwing at a fish, uh, it, it makes it a lot more fun. One we don't have it there.